we we'll have to turn off and on the camera just to switch the freaking camera around i don't know this stupid phone anyway so that plug right there from the inside one wire was broke that's why it was not getting any charge nothing so hopefully the battery was good so i just fixed the wire put the charger everything started working fine so i say damn good deal right there i just fixed a wire for three hundred dollar fifteen hundred dollar scooter i made a good deal right there so i started driving around i did the i started driving around before doing anything to it and it feels okay but i soon realized that this code is gonna it's not gonna be for me it's too small for my weight and for my height so i said well let me do a few modifications and give it to my wife and uh and i go ahead and keep building my scooter the one that i want to build for my anyway so the first thing that i did to the scooter was modification to the chunk to get more more torque but after i did that and you know when you do that you cannot put in third gear from the beginning from zero like from you know when you're a compared stop and you got a modification and you do the chunk modification to get more torque and you are complete stop and you hit that throttle you know you're gonna blow that controller so what i did was just starting first year and then keep when i was getting gaining speed i uh, was putting more gears like second third like you was shifting a manual car and i was doing okay um in two years in the second year you can't even hit the throttle very hard and they won't blow the the controller but one day my son take it for a ride and put in third gear with a complete stop and he fried the controller at that point i uh i replaced well what's that i start thinking around what what they are going to do with the scooter the con not because the controller was expensive it's not expensive it's like 70 something or 80 dollars and um and um i decided well if i buy another controller and i do the modification to the chunk it's gonna blow the controller so if i buy another controller so it's gonna i have to leave it like factory anyway it's gonna be for my wife anyway she don't need that speed she don't she she don't want to go fast anyway so i say okay and then I shake my mind and say, no, wait, I got a controller around, like 84 ball controller with 15 MOSFET. Um, it's a 1500 watt controller, 84 volt, and they have 15 MOS, MOSFET or 12 MOSFET or 14, I don't know. I got a few MOSFET. Anyway, I, it's right here in the side. Let me show you. This is the control. I put it right there. There's no other room for that, to put that controller just that's the only place that I found to put it I put it right there anyway and with that controller looks weird but I don't know so with that controller I gain like before it was doing like 13, 30, yeah, 13, uh, 1300 RPMs. And when I put that controller, I gained like 120 more RPMs. So probably the speed now is going to be like 30, before it was 36, maybe 38 miles per hour now. I don't do a test yet because I put a new speedometer because the old one's not gonna be useful anymore. So I don't have speedometer yet. I'm still working on that. Um, well, I have speedometer right there. I'm gonna show you in a little bit, but it's not working yet. So the controller worked perfect. I had to do a lot of modification to it. I'm not gonna get in the exactly what I did. Only if uh, people start asking me, you know, exactly what you want to know, maybe I do another video, I disassemble the whole thing. 
and build it, you know, and show everything that you had to do to make that control work with the alarm, with the stoplights, um, and all that. Uh, what else? Well, that's it about the controller. So I just put it there and that's it. This radiator here was because the first controller that I get, that I, the original controller, I built a cooling system for the controller. And it works pretty well. But with this controller, I don't have the cooling system anymore. So I just removed the hoses for the antifreeze and I just leave the radiator there with the two fans because they got LED lights. So it looks kind of, looks nice at night. So I just leave it there. Radiator is not doing anything, just holding the fans. So the modification that I did in this scooter also is like I say the radiator with the fans I put I, I removed the LEDs the original LED that used to have it here I put magnetic ones like strip here you don't see it and another one here and I put another strip inside the fender another one over here inside the other fender LED lights there and uh, this is not done yet. I had to buy the cover, the plastic cover for all to cover all this. It's not done yet. I had to hide this relay. This relay is because, well, this battery right here, it's a 36 volt battery. And uh, this battery is just for the accessories for all the lightning and the USB charging ports and everything for lights and charging stuff all the lights work with this battery i don't use uh, the, the battery for the 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 battery in the deck is only for the for the motor so this battery right here for an es4 night ball es4 scooter the ones going inside the the two the tubing that's battery came from it's a 36 volt battery and it worked perfect for the lights. And um, I got this thing. This is a 52 volt to 12 volt converter. You can get it in Amazon everywhere. That's is that's the one that I use for the LEDs and what else? And for the USB charging and for the speedometer. 12 volt. I got a few things that they are 12 volts. That's why I had to put the freaking converter right here from 50 volt to 30 to 12 volts. Okay, so what else? Uh, I leave the, the light. Let me get the let me turn it on that way you guys see. You see, everything works with the alarm beeper. You see. If you hit it, turn it on. Everything's turned on. But you can also turn off the light in the switch here. You can turn on the lights here, and you can also shut down these ones. You see? And then over here is where you shut down the LEDs. This used to be the old button for the cooling pump. Pump's still there. You can hear it. I don't remove the pump yet. I had to remove that thing anyway. Uh, so right now the scooter is on. You see, this is the, the tachometer. Well, it's a it's a RPM and miles per hour. Two in one. Uh, this phone is it's not catching very well. You see, when you hit the throttle, let me see if I can see it here. You can see the RPM going up. The RPM is not accurate because the way this uh, hull sensor work is not gonna match the way the gasoline engine work RPMs. They do move, but it's not accurate. It's just for fancy. decoration but you see the miles per hour is not working yet 
but I got the cable because this speedometer, the, the way that I work for the speed is mechanical. It's a wire that you have to put there and they spin. So I bought a wire. I don't know what it is. It's somewhere around my shop. I think it's right here. Let me see. Yeah, buy this. I don't know if they want to work, but I want to make it work. That's for sure. Uh, make everything work sooner or later. Look, I bought this. I don't want to use this shit. I'm not going to use this. I just bought this because I need this. This is what you need. This wire right here. You see? This is the wire that they spin. And hopefully that thing screw in there. I don't know yet. You see, you put this thing in the tire. And you put the wire there. And then the other parts go in the tachometer right there in the speedometer. And this thing spin. And then you get the miles per hour. So I have to make this thing fit to the front ring or wheel uh, or the rear wheel, whatever. But anyway, that's the idea. But I don't know yet if that's going to work. But I want to make it work, like I say. And uh, and I, I got throttle, twist, twist throttle. I don't like it at all, so I want to put a thumb throttle. I got a few around, so I have to change it. And uh, what else? Ah, I put I put also the this uh, meter for the battery for the scooter for the motor, and this one is for the battery for the lights. This is the for the tire pressure. They also tell you the time and the ambient temperature. I think so. Yeah. Well, it's for the tire, but they also work with the ambient, whatever the temperature is around and where you're standing. Anyway, for the temperature for the tires, basically. 43 and 46. <laughs> Big difference. I don't know why. Anyway, this one is good. You, you, you turn it on and you do nothing to it. They go to a sleep mode and when they feel shaking, they turn on by themselves and they always say being battery the best they, they can. So this one is it's a really good one. Over here which is where my GPS go. It's not on, but this is where my big uh, GPS, those crazy old GPS touchscreen thing, that's always here. I remove it. I had to put it back. But this is where they go. It's not there yet. It was here, but I remove it. So this light, if you buy this light, this light holds to 72 volts. So you can connect it straight to your 52 volt battery and they work perfect. Don't be scared to connect and blow them out because they work perfect with 72 volts. Okay, so don't be scared to connect this to your battery. This one's still working with the, this is the original light they came with this scooter. So I leave it there. Let me see, let me, where's the fucking, oh. You see, they still work. Right now, I got these lights connected with the halo rings. This is just the ring of the lights, you see? And this button right here is for the light itself. And they're bright. It went, when I say bright, like, like real bright, like you will see everything. I got two cup holders. And uh, that's it. Nothing, nothing more. Nothing more. Like I say, you guys want to know anything about connections and stuff, like exactly something specific, you can let me know. And if I get a lot of questions, maybe I just go ahead and disassemble the whole thing and build another video doing stuff. But I still remember how everything had to be together, so maybe I don't even have to do a whole video about doing this stuff by writing down, you may understand. But everything is fine. I mean, it's working perfect. That controller don't look so pretty there, but I mean, I don't care. It don't look so ugly either, look. 
Mm-hmm. Yeah. Anyway, guys, this phone don't switch the camera to myself again. So I hopefully have to end this video. I got a lot of information about nine volt max scooter. I did a lot of custom. Like for example, this one. If you take these max scooters, nine volt max, and you change this motor, this this motor is a solid tire. Okay, you get a lot of speed. Watch this. This is a nine volt max scooter. Check out how much speed you get with this motor. <laughs> I smile powers. It's not. Look. Just by putting that motor. That motor right there. You want to know what motor it is? Just hit me up in the comments and I may and I'll let you know what motor it is. What else I got around to show for the moment? Oh, well, this is the tires that I'm going to use for my the scooter that I'm going to build. This one's. But I don't have time to play with that. I just buy this. Damn, like, I got with this like a year. I always say that I'm going to do it. And I never have time to mess with my personal stuff. I always busy. Let me see. This thing is heavy. This is going to be my personal scooter that I'm going to build. Let me see if I can make it stand there. Uh, yeah. You see? This motor is a 60 ball, 1000 watt. But I'm going to run it with 94 volts and 5000 watts. That's going to be my scooter. 52 volt, 92 volt, 5,000 watt control scooter. That's the one I'm gonna build. Anyway, someday when I have a chance, that's gonna be a long time maybe. Anyway, guys, hope everybody is still okay with all these issues going on around the world. But I may soon make more videos when I have a chance. Take care, guys.